What's up, my nail friends? It's your girl D here with another nail vlog. And yes, I know it's been some time, but your girl, she hasn't been feeling so well. She has been up under the weather. And also, I have been having some technical difficulties with my editing program. But, you know, this is something that I enjoy. So, I'm not going to stop doing it. I'm just going to keep trying and keep trying until I am able to do it and be more consistent. So, yeah, Nell Friends, your girl, she is really, really trying. Okay, so just be patient with me, okay? I missed you guys so much, but anyway, let me stop rambling on. We are about to get into today's video. So today, we are going to be doing some stamping, and this video is especially for my girl Toy, because she did request that I do um, a video using my butterfly, my butterfly, <laughs> my butterfly stamping plate. She wanted to see how it works. So, girl toy, this is for you. And I also received my maniology box today. So we are going to open this. And after we open this, we are going to get right into this stamping plate. So let me set up and I will be right back. Okay, everyone, I am back and let's get into this box. I am never surprised about what's in here because I do watch the Manny and Me um, tutorials. From maniology and they always show way ahead of time what you're getting in your box so I'm never surprised <laughs> so and I always like to keep these little boxes too so maniology many and me The Sky Dancer Manny and Me box will have you fluttering your fingertips with a delicate dance of butterflies and dragonflies. Let your imagination soar to the new heights with limited edition patterns and designs that capture the essence of some of nature's aerial beauties. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. And this is the design that Maniology came up with. I thought this was very nice, very chic. Oh, excuse me, I am a little sleepy. All right, let's get this baby open. So we have our two polishes. Let me see what we're working with. <laughs> so we have, oh, this is cute. Yeah, I did see this one. This is called Metamorphosis. This is a glitter polish. And this is a peachy. This is called Nectar, and this is called Metamorphosis. All right, and let's get to our plates. Oh, well, let's put the plates to the side. Cause I gotta uh, cook my fuel. I'm very hungry. And our surprise gift for this month is some stickers, butterfly stickers. Is this the one or two? remember I do have oh okay so we have butterflies and dragonflies um and I do also have a 
haul coming up, you guys. So, yeah. Keep a lookout for that. Very nice new things. New arrivals from Ali. But these stickers are very nice. I love the gold trim. So yeah, these will go really good with that nectar. Yeah, they kind of coincided the color with the two polishes. All right, so we have that. Now, let's get into the stamping plates. Okay, this is the first one. Let's take the blue film off. Finally, I'm really liking on these plates. I like the little design. I think these are, I guess that's butterfly. Yeah. Or dragonfly. I think these are dragonfly. Dragonfly wing patterns. And I think these are the butterfly wing patterns. Yep. So, okay, that's the first one. Let's get to the second one. watching these today because I want to get to my Laird butterfly stamper. I did practice a little bit so we will see how this one goes. So let me set up for the next stage and I will be right back. Hey now friends I am back and I am ready to go. Um, so I have prepared some swatch sticks with my beauty um, sticky stuff here. Is I think it's the same as nail foil actually. I really do. It smells the same. It's just a little more watery than the actual foil glue. I think I said nail glue before. But it smells the same. It smells like the foil glue. So I think it's the same. It's just a little bit thinner. So this is why I use this today on the swatch sticks. And we will be using my Born Pretty Black. called Throne. This one is called Pomegranate Red. And this one is called Scenery. So these are the three we will be using today. So I did practice. Oops. I practiced a little 
off camera. And this is what I came up with. So not too bad, but to the trained eye, it probably looks a mess, but I'm proud of it. So cool. My first time trying layered stamping so yeah so I wanted to actually use this plate in a set so I wanted to practice on some swatch sticks first and depending upon how long this video is I'll probably either incorporate that in this video or do a whole separate video so we'll see so first we are going to try let's try the first one, okay, um, I think I'm going to use my, let me open all three of these up. Oh, I forgot my acetone, my scraper, my stampers here. Okay, I have my one pretty all set up, hopefully I'm still in there. Um, and let me get my acetone. Let me clean this out and I'll be right back. Okay, I am ready and now I am ready to go. So let me clean up my sample heads. Make sure that I'm nice and ready to go. So I hope everyone is doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope everyone is blessed and staying safe. So I bought these um, stampers from Timu and I didn't realize that they didn't come with, you know, lids to them. I thought every, I've never bought a stamper that, um, didn't have a lid like <laughs> that's new to me okay so that's the butterfly alright and we're gonna set that to the side and now we're going to do the um, outline of it. We're going to pick that image up. Now, we're going to pick up our swatch stick. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay. And we're just going to bloop. Pop that right on there. And we're going to try to line this up. Oop, my hands are shaking, y'all. I had way too much coffee. I should have known not to have so much coffee before I tried this. Okay, so. It's a little off, but... This is what she looking like. So that's cool. That's cool. That's one. Now we're going to clean off our plate. And we're going to try the one I tried off camera with the three. And then we're going to try the four layer. All right, let me, let me slow down, okay? Because... I'm no professional, so we just gonna stick with the three. <laughs> okay. 
okay so we're gonna try wait a minute hold on okay so that was these two okay we're gonna try this one three and we are going to get our base color That almost didn't work out. Let's see. Um, wait a minute. Did I just do that upside down somehow? Let's see. Oh, here we are. I think that we're going to do that again. I don't like that pickup. Even though it's just a swatch stick, but I do want it to look halfway decent. <laughs> it is supposed to go that way. <laughs> okay. That's how that one came out. Oh, it's not coming. There we go. Alright. So... Um, let's do the next one. We're going to do it with green. Let me clean this off because I don't want my polishes to get mixed up. We're going to do it with green. Take this one. Clean off what we don't want. upside down to me so but that's the way I'm gonna stamp it because I don't know that's the way <laughs> figure out how it goes y'all um like this I guess okay like this we're just gonna put it down and hope for the best <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, that looks like a hot mess. But everything, oh, and all of it didn't even come off like, let's see if I can, let's see. Um, maybe that's a good thing that it all didn't come off. Okay, it looks like a hot mess, y'all, but let's put the outline on it and see what we got. <laughs> Sometimes the outline helps you out. Uh, if I can get my hands to stop shaking. Okay, let's see. Um, so now that the outline is messed up, I have to figure out like how. Just gonna lay it down. Oh, it didn't even come off my sticky. All right, so we're gonna save that image. And we're gonna see if we could put another sticky base joint on there without it smearing. Let's see. All right, and we're gonna let that dry. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And now let's see if this works. There's no need to rescrape it. I'm just showing you guys how it actually works. Um, we had it here before. And oh, this is horrible, y'all. <laughs> this looks like a whole mess. All right, we're going to scrap that. All right, that one is a little complicated for me. So we're going to try. We're going to practice on these two, and then we're going to go back to that one. We have four swatch sticks, so we'll go back to that one because that's a little complicated. But these are a little bit more easier. So let's do this one. Oh, wait, let me clean off my stamper heads. I was so disappointed when I got these from Timu and found out they didn't have tops on them. Luckily, I have a place to store my um, stampers when I have images on them that I want to save. So <laughs> that was good for me. All right, so we're going to the next one. Scraper. that to the side and let's see we're going to go to the next one stick we're gonna go ahead and put some more of the because it's not like the it doesn't stay sticky like the um, foil glue so we're gonna put a little bit more on there we're gonna let that dry so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on the rest of the swatch sticks and I'll be right back 
Okay, I'm back now and I am ready to go. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back to it. We're going to plop this bad boy down like so. This one is broken. Okay, and we're going to do our second one. Let's see how this goes. Oh, still. Oh, it didn't even come off. You know what? I'll be right back. I got to change to my foil glue. Okay, now that I have went back to the way that I do things, see this is what I normally use. Then I wanted to try this one, but my foil glue never fails me, so I went back to what I know. <laughs> All right, so now, let's try to line this up once again. And I noticed that when I took and put the foil glue on top of my image, it didn't smear. So that was a good thing too. So now I know I could use it like that in layers if I want. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> let's go to the next one. And this is our out. This is our outline. And there you have it. Um, I like it. It's not like layered perfectly, but with more practice, I'm sure I'll get better. So this one was a total miss. Like I see, I might have to try that one upside down. But these two, cool. All right, so we have three swatch sticks left and we are going to try, let's see. We're gonna stick with the small ones because the swatch sticks are small. Let's try this, the next one, this pretty one. And as usual, there goes my phone, you guys, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that interruption. Um, so we said we were gonna do this one here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so, dang, I picked up everything. Take that off. All right, set that to the side. And we're gonna do our next image. We're gonna, first, we're gonna wipe it off because I see how I overlap that a little bit. Oh, I 
think this is gonna be a really pretty one if I do it right, you got oh. <sighs> As I was saying, <laughs> I believe that this is gonna be a really pretty one if I do it correctly. So we're going to put that to the side and then we're going to do our outline. And it's always good to have like, that is like way too pigmented. It's always good to have like um, more than one stamper when you're stamping layered because it's so much faster. Okay, so we're gonna plop that down, bang. We're gonna plop this one down, try to line it up. Okay, let's see if I can line this up correctly. Um, mm, did not come off. This is one of those days. Okay. Um, we messed that one up because that one got messed up a little bit because, you know. what it's looking like it didn't come off the first time but anyway let's put our outline on because sometimes the outline saves the actual image so let's see what we're working with and I'm trying I tried to line up the antennas So, we need way more practice, you guys, with this layered one. But it is absolutely fun. I mean, let's do this one again. I like this one. We're going to do this one one more time. And see if I could do it. <laughs> so let's see. Let me clean off my stamper heads. We have two more swatch sticks to go. So then we're gonna end it. So let's go ahead and do that same one. Maybe let's start with the green. And see what happens see if it turns out better okay take off what I don't want all right put that to the side Because sometimes you have to rearrange your colors so it could come out better too. Also. <laughs> That's so pretty. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that 
isn't it pretty? All right, and then now we're gonna do the outline. And I'm noticing with the Born Pretty Black, you only, ah, uh, that didn't come out right. You only have to use a little bit of it. I'm about to show you. I didn't scrape that right. But you only have to use a little bit of it. Oh, uh, watch. That was too much. Because it will smear on you if you use too much of it. All right. So we have our three images. Let's grab our swatch stick. Start off with our first image. Pop that down. Okay. Second image. Yeah, I think this one is going to turn out better because... Okay, and now we have our third image. I think I did this one a little better. But the black is still like overpowering it a little bit, but so and okay, and now let's try the next. Uh, let me see, I want to try this little one, this one right here. So I think we have to do this one this one and then this one and we're going to start off with the green again let me clean the stamper heads and let me clean this a little bit up and I'll be right back well I've decided no need to clean up because I'm about to go to the next stage anyway so let me finish cleaning this plate and let's get to this one and yeah we will be done Ooh, and then we're done stuff still sticky all right so we got our swatch stick let's pull up our images we're going to start with the green again oh wait let me clean this off a little bit better okay we're going to start with the green again glad that wasn't the image I was trying to pick up because that would have been jacked <laughs> all right we have that image clean this off we're gonna do this one Sorry, you guys. I'll be right back. Sorry, you guys. I'm back. Every time. And I haven't recorded in a while. You guys haven't seen me in a while. So there goes my phone. Like, come on. When I'm not doing anything, the thing don't ring. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now for the next outline. Let's see how this comes out because I had to scrape it twice. Oh, it came out good. All right, now let's grab our final swatch stick and see how this goes okay so let's 
so. Okay, I'm in frame. Okay, good. I'll put this one down. That's the easiest one to put down. Let's try this one. All right, let me see. Yeah, so as you go along, it gets a little better. Let's see. And I did that one wrong, but... <sighs> That's what I got. That's what I'm working with, y'all. This is what I'm working with. So these are all of the ones that I did today. Let's see. I wonder if I can take this one because I don't think I'm done with that one. Let me um, try this one and put it on here and see what happens. Because I think that I neglected to finish it out. That was way too much black polish, watch. I had to scrape that one pretty hard. I'm, I don't think that it quite goes with it, but I think that you can like use it if you want. So that finished off that one. Cool, boo -boo -boo. I'm loving on it. So here we have all of my attempts with layered stamping. Okay, let me see. These are all of my attempts. So I did this one yesterday when I, you know, tried it. So let's see. Yeah, there you go. So I did that one. These are all my attempts, you guys, right here. So this is my first time. And I'm absolutely loving on the plate. Um, as I practice more, I will be filming more um, stamping videos with layered stamping plates. But as of right now, you know, yeah, I need more practice. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that is how... The layered stamping plate works um there's other images that i wanted to try but of course this video cannot go on forever <laughs> okay and yeah so i really hope that you enjoyed watching this content um my next video will be um a haul video and my giveaway uh, my giveaway is coming up very soon okay it will be um, around Easter time that I announce it um, and I don't want to say too much okay because there's ears around and I want my idea to be uh, it may not be new but original you know what I mean okay <laughs> So yeah, I had so much fun um, stamping with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. 
Um, and we have come to the end of this video. I hope and pray that you are doing very well in the world, no matter where you are, whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening. I hope and pray that you are blessed. Until next time, take care of yourself and take care of others. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.